That looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, come on, what's not to like about bangers and mash pie? <gasps> Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we are doing sausage and mash pie. We're doing a sausage and mash pie, it's so simple. I've got some potatoes in here, look. I've already peeled and I've cubed them. We are going to turn those into mash. So we want to go in there with a little bit of salt, salt in that water, and we're going to stick it on the flame. Sausages, I've got pork sausages here, the Cumberland sausages actually, but you can use any sausage, it doesn't matter. Uh, onions, we're going to make an onion gravy, it's going inside the pie. We want some slices, now you can slice it that way. Or you can slice it that way. It really doesn't matter. We just want some sliced onion. Okay. Garlic. Garlic optional. If you don't want to use it, don't put it in. little chopping over the top you can mince it as fine as you like or you can just leave it in chunks it doesn't matter I have some frozen vegetables here it's a mixture of frozen veg actually and we're just defrosting it on the side I've also got some gravy granules mixed up we're going on with a flame, we want a pan. We want some oil of choice, it doesn't matter what you use. Yep, we know oil and water don't mix. Get it in, get your flame on. And we are just putting our sausages in there. Now you can use as many sausages as you want. Obviously, that's up to you. We've only got a, a few here, look. That should be enough to coat the bottom of our pie. Now, for everybody that doesn't boil the sausages first, you are not maximizing the sausage. It's not plumping up to the best it can go. So if you boil it like this first, and you keep rotating the sausages, it's gonna plump up, it's gonna be completely cooked. The water is going to evaporate, the oil in the water will take over, we fry the sausages, a little bit of colour, job done. Just turn them over, they will cook all the way around, they will plump up, you can see they're plumping up already. That's the filling inside expanding as it's cooking. Fantastic. So when you've got enough colour on your sausages that you like, you need to be taking them out. Put them to rest and we're going to slice those. We are going to use the oil from the sausages and the oil that we've already cooked. We are adding a little bit of butter. And we are going in with our onions and our garlic. And today we are cooking for colour. It doesn't matter if some are not coloured or some are. It's going to be an onion gravy and we want a good gravy with a fantastic onion caramelised flavour. So just set them off in there. Everybody rushes onions. Nice and steady. You cook them low and slow and they get sweeter as they caramelise. Wonderful. So while they're caramelised, I'm going to drag them to one side and we're going to mash some potatoes. Butter, a good chunk. Want some nice buttery mash on this one. A little bit of milk. And a mash in. Mash them up. Nice and creamy. 
or you can leave texture in up to you get the texture you want it's going don't forget this is going on the top of our pie a tiny bit of salt a little bit of black pepper just put a couple of flakes through there and this is sour cream completely optional I'm just going to go in there with some fresh parsley so let's get that a nice mashing in there and then we're going to get that lovely herby creamy mashed potato so once you get your onions how you want them in with a little bit of flour stir that in there this is Worcester sauce and I'm going in with it now so the flavorings in there about a tablespoon and we're going in with about a tablespoon of tomato paste tomato puree we're going to give that a little whizzing with the onions and this is gravy made up with gravy powder no powder stir that in and that is going to be the gravy in the bottom of our pie so let's just cook it a little bit thicker as soon as you got it bubbling like that you know you can cook it to as thick as you like what we're going to do we're going to add our frozen veg I want to stir that in all he wants about a minute two minutes tops not probably not even two minutes we're not trying to overcook this veg because it's going to be cooked in the oven we just want a nice thick ish gravy so it runs all over our plate when we slap the sausage and mash on i think that's got it we can turn that off and just put that to one side we just slice through our sausages okay for our sausages we want some slices slice them any which way you want that's up to you and as big as you want you know it depends how big you want your chunks in your sausage and mash pie over and on and I'm using the air fryer as usual and we are going to 180 let it warm up okay let's assemble sausages in the bottom of there now I'm just going to make sure we get some stuff around the sausages and then I'm going to pour it all in I just want our sausages intermingled with our gravy and onions so it doesn't stick on the bottom of the pan okay in with the rest of that okay so when cooking anything like this it's a must it's on a tray it will bubble unless you have a really deep dish and I don't have a deep dish that fits the air fryer over there with some mashed potatoes what a nice layer of mash coming down there and then some to this side and don't worry if it spills over I'm sure it will and then you take your fork and you just ease it over the end to the end now make sure 
you don't squash it down. We're after some crusty peaks on the top of here. So I'll leave it all roughed up. Now cheese is completely optional. You don't have to put it on if you don't want. It makes a fantastic addition to mashed potato on the top of a pie. On there with some cheddar. And the cheddar will melt in all those nooks and crannies we've just created on the top of there. Fantastic. And that goes straight in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, that's good enough for me. Let's turn that off. Let's have that out of there. That looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, as with everything like this, we're going to have to give it a good uh, six or seven minutes for it to cool down a little bit before we can get dug in there. It's got a nice crusty top on. Fantastic. It's going to have to be a corner. It's got to be a corner. Come through there. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. What's not to like about bangers and mash pie? <gasps> Let's get dug in. One of my favourite, favourite meals. Growing up, bangers and mash, superb. Combine it all as a pie. You know, this thing can freeze. You se separate it into portions, freeze it. Sausages. Mmm. Incredible. We've got that little bit of cheddar mash. That little bit of crunch on the top. Mmm. We've got our onion gravy. Look, look at the onions in there with our veg. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is amazing. A fantastic onion flavour. A real onion gravy. You can taste the caramelised onions in there. Oh, that is a heck of a meal. And a little bit of Coleman's. Now then, a bit of cheddar mash off there, a bit of sausage, a bit of onion gravy, a bit of mustard. Mm. Absolute heaven. Fantastic meal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to portion that up. That's going in the freezer. This is a fantastic meal. That is comfort food at best. Now obviously we put the veg inside here but you can make it and serve it with extra veg if you want. You know like broccoli or cauliflower more peas, anything, up to you. That is absolutely fantastic. That is a perfect all-in-one comfort meal. Not too expensive to make, really enjoyable, and obviously you've got portions. If you haven't got a family uh, eating all of that, save it, bring it out. Now, before we go, I'd like to say thank you to all my patrons. You're all listed actually in the description. And I'd like to thank everybody that's bought a coffee. Everything that's donated to this channel goes into the recipes and the making of this channel. So if anybody else would like to donate or subscribe to the uh, Patreon page, please do so. That would be fantastic. Other than that, I'm going to get stuck into this, so if you like what we're doing, a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, catch you in the next video.